guys and welcome back to a new episode of Divi's Plays in Stanley Parable. Yeah. Uh, last time we did only one thing and that was clicking on room number 430 for five times. And that was fun. That was a lot of fun, right? Oh, there we go. Where was 430? There we go. And we got an achievement. And it took a while. I th it took longer than I thought. It was not five clicks. No, that wasn't that wasn't it. Uh, uh, if you didn't know that, spoilers. But you know, you should have watched the first episode first. <laughs> it's short anyway. So, anyway, uh, we're gonna continue. I hope I will like continue like since it like this the whole thing. By the way, one thing I have one problem with this game: the loading times. What the hell is wrong? I went to make a coffee, came back, still wasn't done. And I was like, what the hell? It took like, I don't know, five minutes or more? That's a bit too long, isn't it? Is it? Am I, am I virtual problems? Probably. Coffee! No! <laughs> don't waste coffee. Everyone loves coffee. That's it? Wait, what's going on there? Oh. Oh. Well, nothing there. Okay, we're gonna. I'm uh, hoping that he's going to continue his uh, rant. Because if that was the end of it, that's kind of sad, and I will have to start over. But uh, I have faith. I have a lot of faith. Let's see what we can do. I think I put this in. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <sighs> shall I do the left first, or shall I just go against first? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. On his left, he said, right? So I'm going to the... I go, I'm going to the I'm going to the right. No. Shall I be rebellious first? Ah, ah. Going rebellious this first. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Yes, and it wasn't. Knew it perfectly well. Yes. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh, actually, yes, I do want to. What the? It looks so ominous. The problem with like. Places or levels where there's no one there, it just makes ah, it more. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It, it had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It, Stanley simply mm. stood here, drinking it all in. Drinking, drinking. He wants me to drink. I'm gonna drink. Can I? Can I? Can, can I drink? Can, do, do I have money or something? Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. Yep. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Eh, eh. Really worth it. Paintings? Oh, there are paintings. There it is. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's so at amazingly this point, glorious. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Well, yeah. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Yeah, it probably is. It probably is. I like this room though. Can I have coffee? Coffee? Can I? Why can't I pick stuff up? I want to Stanley sat up. around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, sorry. I like this room. This is a good room. This is a good. Wait, wait. What? Uh, controls. Um, there aren't ma many controls, basically. Are there, can I check real quick? I'm gonna check real quick. Don't worry about it. Go to check. Uh, edit case. Uh, duck. Use item. Uh, so use item is E and a pressing left mouse button. Strafe. I don't want to strafe. Console? There's a console. Oh. Keyboard look modifier. Back. Let's check something. Resume the game. Uh, if, is it the, the, the console? No. Is this the console? Is this the console? No console? Ah, uh, he disabled the console. That's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, what's that? Why does it sound like I'm typing on things when I'm not? I'm typing on things. Can you hear that? It sounds nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, can I go back? Can I go? Can I go back? Apparently, I can't go back. Apparently, he doesn't want me here. Okay, okay. The, the game is now really making me like 
telling me that but I should go. Last, look. he'd had enough of the amazing room yeah, yeah, and took yeah. the first open door on his left to get back to business. Like this one? Or this one? Or this one? Or Oh. No, I I was no, I know what my left and rights are. Just just chill. I was just trying to do the first like the thing that was the up opposite of what he wanted the hell you know what no I'm gonna go here Stanley was so bad at following directions it's incredible he wasn't fired years yeah. ago oh what's this Ooh. I think I'm going to for this last or this episode I'm going to go all wrong as what do not lie. If you are lying, st lying right now, stop. I am going to do every opposite answer, and I'm not lying about it. Uh, I'm hoping I'm not lying. Oh, what is it? What's it? Cautioning? No, no, no. Wait. Open the door. Okay, fine. Let's go. Do 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 do. Can I climb? No, I can't. Do not jump from the car will lift while in while it is in motion. Penalty for missions. Ah, uh, can I go in here? I don't have a car, so YOLO. YOLO. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> Good job, Stanley. Thank you. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I am very powerful. I think I'm very powerful. Well, I guess this is going to go back to the beginning of the story, so I'm probably going to play till where I should be, or at that point again, so be right back. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. There we go, I'm back. Yes, let's not YOLO anymore, because you don't only live once, apparently you live multiple times, because here I am, and, well, no one's there, so I'm I'm not sure if the person who died there was me, or it was a clone of me. <gasps> oh. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Who's controlling you? I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Yeah, yeah, well... There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh. Someone you've forgotten about. <gasps> Please, stop trying oh, to make every no. decision by yourself. My girlfriend! I'm asking for no! Me. I'm asking for her. Oh, wait, what? Is this a girlfriend? Wait, what? Wait. This is it, Stanley. What? Your chance to redeem yourself. Myself? To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Her? She's been waiting. Who's her? I was... When I when I said my girlfriend, I was just joking. So... Whatever you're playing there... Uh, I wanna know what's up. I wanna know what's up. Like... Give me the thing. Give, give, me, give me the crap. What? Uh, I thought it would be something down there. Oh, oh there. That's her, Stanley. Eh? You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. How about no? Ah, coffee. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Wait, hope for a wait. life reunited one wait. Oh goodness. <laughs> Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Maybe. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? I'm awesome. You actually chose incorrectly. Oh what? I didn't even know that was possible. I Let know, me right? Double check. I'm awesome. No. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. 
Yeah, I don't think so. It's actually somehow an incorrect course of action. Oh. How is that even possible? I know, right? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I know, right? I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? I what did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not uh, possible. I can't believe it. Well, well, well. Have I not noticed it sooner? What? You're not Stanley. Well, you're a real person. Um. <sighs> yeah. I can't believe um, I was so mistaken. Well, this is why you've been able to make uh, correct and incorrect choices. Yeah. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. Well, it's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol oh, what's for real-world decision-making. Oh. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I, well, I won't have oh, that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. No, wait. Please no, wait. observe this helpful instructional video. Wait, what? Choice. It's the best part of being uh, a real person. Okay. If used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. Well, for example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius oh, of his house. Which what, choice what, would you make? Remember, the second that unlike one. here, I mean, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. Uh, if you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, but, in all likelihood, that person is not real. But this Allow the person to finish their thought, uh, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Well, turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a bad second <laughs> crap. Oh, 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 what happened? Practice? My goodness, it is 9.30. Uh, 4.30, I need to be up and, and practice. Uh, Hack and sack. Excellent. Uh, Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Uh, Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, okay. your thoughts and problems are materially oh, insignificant. Oh, wow, okay, thanks. And the feeling should subside. Yeah, uh, At oh. this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, what the back. hell? You may have noticed oh. that this room has begun to deteriorate oh. as a result of narrative contradiction. Oh, wow. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed what of the? good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. That explains why the game was lagging from time to time. Or is that actually my computer lagging? I'm really confused right now. What is real, what isn't? Um, is there something here to danger everywhere? <laughs> uh, please stop, stop, stop! Please, I'm begging you, stop, stop, stop! <laughs> okay, this is scary. Not in any way is this normal. I thought I was Stanley, but apparently, I'm just City, DV City, just. Trying to figure out where I am and what I'm doing, what I'm doing with my life. Oh, this is different. This is. Oh, it's going to. Oh, it's going to lock me in. Where am I? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform Wait, what? and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. Oh. That story would make no sense at all. Oh, so we just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Okay. So, I'm going to be set free? Go home? Is this my escaping moment? Choice. Oh, sh holy crap, that's scary, yo. Don't, don't stop doing that. Grr. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Uh. Oh, the door to the right, or left is, uh, 
Well, it's now on the right, I guess. It's closed. What am I going to do now? What, what, where am I? Oh. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Wait, no, but I don't want to go back. No. But no. Let me... No, let me make choices. I want choices. Don't give me no choice. That's that's not fun. You just took control. Like like a dick. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Ah, I'm quite sure yeah. you'll be up to the task. <laughs> just follow my lead and you'll be fine. But no! Right. <clears throat> no! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Can I? Oh, oh! Can I be so dickish? No! Why oh, whoa! That? Quickly! Hurry oh back my. in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh, nice! Oh, oh my God! That's nice. That is cool. Oh sh! That is cool. Okay, well, okay, fine, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go to the left now. I'll go to the left now. Close the door. And no. No? Wait, can I open this door? Ooh, I actually don't want to open this door. How about that one? Oh my god. Huh. That is that is actually extremely interesting. Okay, let's go. Let's go. To this way. No? Ah, son of a... Fine. Fine. I'm going that way. Oh. Ooh. I'm actually pretty scared now for some reason. I'm on edge. Pretty much on edge. Oh, it's ruined. You I can't believe after everything we talked about that you my story. You've destroyed my work. Ooh. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It well, it's worthless now. Oh. What am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Rest Me in peace, friends. It's impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. Well, you know, kind of. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... Take a chill, no, Bill. I have to. No. I have to shut the game no. down. No. I have to. No. I have to. No, no, no. No, you don't. Oh, my. Oh, dear Lord. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh. Um. Eh. Oh sh. Oh. Up, up. oh. I'm here. Oh, what? Where? I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Uh. Who thought you were so clever? Now look where we are. Um. My entire game is destroyed. Well. You know, it was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you uh, run it into mm, the ground. What did you think that would be funny? Uh, well, you actually, yeah. See, y well, didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Well, he actually knows how to do what I tell him to. But he understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for I'm it. I'm not Stanley, though. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? Well, that there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Yeah, that's oh. true. That's true. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed oh. it and been victorious. It oh. would have been so perfect. Wait, I would I so have been? hard on it. I tried so hard. Wait, what? Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Uh, I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his <laughs> left. So I'm guessing that he was going to ramble on forever there. And we would be stuck together forever. Me and the narrator. Sounds quite uh quite awesome actually. I should have like stayed there. I, I wanted to stay there. Why did you why did you take me away? It was scary though. It was it was I was actually feeling my heart going faster. Like it was like uh it was a whole fiasco in there. Anyway, 
uh, <laughs> I think this is a good stopping point, and I will continue on next time in the next episode of the Stanley Parable. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, bye.